seven levels of the internet and as we all know the internet has multiple different layers so i've come up with seven different levels for each layer of the internet so we're going to start things off at level zero you don't even browse the internet at all and you know what if this is you good job you're employed you touch grass good shit if you're not on the internet often good shit but we're going to move on to level one now level one is in a nutshell if a person used everyday platforms let's say you used youtube every day for example since we're all on youtube right now and you might just use use search engines for their basic purpose. You might just look up on Google, is the sky blue or whatever. On this level, you kind of just lurk the internet. You might leave a comment here and there, but not really often. A lot of people refer to this as the surface web because, well, it's on the surface and all of the content is visible to you. You don't really have to do much work to really get to the content either. It's all just right in front of you. It gets pushed to you and you get thrown whatever your algorithm thinks you're going to fuck with. Now for this level, you don't really engage that much with the post. But for the most part, you're just there for the content. And people at this level don't really share their opinions online, typically. Which, honestly, yeah, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I don't know, I wouldn't share my opinions online either. Because somehow the cats versus dogs gets controversial, or apple juice versus orange juice. I mean, that might be why some people don't like to comment online. Or they just don't want to. And you know what, I gotta respect that, because I was the exact same way before I did YouTube. I would just be a part of the scroll, I wouldn't really comment on anything. Now, level two is when you start to get more involved on the internet where you start to join communities and get into comment sections, start discussing shit, whatever. And the day I moved on to level two personally is, well, I started the YouTube channel. I now voice my opinion on the internet. It just makes more sense that I'd be a more active user further up the leveling. If you're on this level, you might be a fan page trying to gain some followers, you know, tap in with the community, for example, or like, I don't know, go on Reddit trying to get your karma up or whatever it is. You're just more of an active user online because like, obviously a comment section isn't fully representative of who saw the video, the tweet, or whatever it is. Now for level three, you start to understand more online references. Now, you're such a doom scroller at level three to the point where you have mastered the surface web. Some people may say that you are officially unemployed. Like you get every single meme reference thrown your way. You're just consumed within the brain rot at this point. You know everything about your for you page. You're on the next memes way before other people. You know about stories and news way before everyone else while everyone was on chop chin you were on i can't lie tspmo you are way ahead of the average person when it comes to pop culture and internet culture because i mean well level three you start to spend more time online and for some people it might get so terminally online to the point where they might bring these references into real life let's say i bring up in a conversation not gonna lie ts bubonic with the wilted rose emoji and the dead battery emoji let's say i text that to someone Somebody, they'll be insanely confused. Like, if the people aren't really tapped in with the internet like that, chances are they're gonna be really confused. Now, for level four is where people begin to go beyond the surface layer and kind of get more into the underground layers of the internet. Now, this one is the level right before the deep web. It's uh, some people refer to it as the burgy web. Some people say it's the layer in between the surface web and the deep web. Okay, it just makes sense for the video, bro. I don't know. I'd sorry to drop that nonsense bomb on you. But if you're still confused, the burgy web, you can still access with standard browsers and you could still use regular web browsers but this layer is all about the underground sites the sweaty the discord moderator sites like 4chan not all of them but a few of them yeah you don't want to go on 4 don't do not go there okay it's it's very degen don't go on there i've i've never been on it thankfully i've just heard some shit that it's just weird I imagine you go up to the girls and you say hey ladies want to see my underground 4chan account like hell no you you are getting no pussy if you're getting on 4chan. That shit radiates must over there, bro. Now, don't. Don't do this, guys. Do not. Don't. Okay, they're gone. Okay, but for real, though. Pirating sites are also considered a part of the Bergy web because they don't really come up that much in the search engine. Or you might need a specific URL to get there. But this is the only one I could see a normal day-to-day -day person doing for level four. If somebody's really willing to take the risk. I bought my YouTube editing software for full price. Full price. I know, I'm the get clowned. I know, I'm sorry. But yeah, those sites where you get your college textbooks for free and not 
not spend like 300 bucks on it for three months. Those sites are considered underground sites on the Bergy web. Or if you want to watch a certain movie or an anime or something like that. Now, I didn't do that though. I, I'm just saying that for an example. <laughs> I, I didn't do that at all, guys. No. But yeah, there's really degen forums on this level, like I was mentioning earlier with the Grease Chan and all that. But yeah, this level's like a gray area of it still could be possibly visible on the surface web, but you might need to put in more effort to get there than just a simple Google search. Because there could be like blocking restrictions in your country or anything like that. Now, coming in at level five is considered to most people the deep web. Now, it's different than the dark web. And, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense with where I was going with the video. Like, as we get further, it gets more terminally online. But we're all technically on the deep web right now. Sorry to sound like a nerd, but we're all on the deep web right now. That's if you're using an account to watch this video. But if you have any private videos on your YouTube account, that is stored on the deep web. It's not available for public viewing at all. And you would need the password to your account to access it. On the deep web, there's also certain research papers, other private records, health records private forums. Okay, I'm just a dumbass in his bedroom. Please take this with a grain of salt. I really don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it didn't really make sense with where I was going with the video. And I don't know, according to this iceberg chart, it is 90% of the internet. Now moving on to the dark web. Level 6, it's said to be 6% of the deep web, or 6% of the entire internet as a whole. Surface web being 4% and the deep web being 90%, like I said earlier. But yeah, level 6, the curiosity really got to you, let's say, I don't know, for a scenario purposes so the video makes sense. But yeah, a lot of people use the deep and dark web terms interchangeably. That, that's what's been confusing me this whole time. But yeah, this level that I made up by myself, but in, according to the Ducks Unemployed Guide of the Internet, at level six, your curiosity gets the best of you. You get on the Tor browser, which yes, you need a completely different browser to get on the dark web. It's fucking wild. I don't know. I would never put myself through all of that, all of this tech just to get there. Now, the dark web isn't illegal, but illegal stuff does happen on there. And just me personally, I'm not going on that goddamn dark web because I don't want to be associated with that bullshit. But yeah, well, people just think I'm Walter White moving if I log into the goddamn dark web. I don't know. I'm not trying to run the risk because there's like really weird risks going around about the dark web, which I'll get into in the next level. But that shit basically convinced me, yeah, the duck, don't go on the dark web. But yeah, I probably might get maybe one comment of something Someone who's been on the dark web before. I'm just gonna predict that I'm speaking to a brick wall here. But yeah, people don't even dare to discuss the dark web. That's why it's at such a high level. But yeah, some people might use it to avoid censorship, like their country's hella censored, or or some people use it for secure communication. Now, if people took this and just started doing illegal shit. But yeah, there's a lot of risks and threats of going on the dark web. According to medium.com, here are some of the risks of going on the dark web. Yeah, I had to get this shit from a different website. Look, man. I'm not a dark web expert. I, I don't know what you want from me. But anyways, here are some of the risks and threats of being on there. Criminals. There are a lot of criminals on the dark web. And on these websites, yeah, bro, they, they're doing some Walter White type shit. So yeah, just be careful of any of those websites. Then there's like suspicious links as well. If you click on any of these links, it will infect your computer with malware if you click on it. And then it'll just automatically download something. But yeah, if you're not careful, you could get a virus on your computer, which yeah, nobody wants a goddamn virus on their computer. There's hackers on there. There's just a lot of illegal shit going on there. And this one thing, I don't know if it's even true, but this is, this got me scared of going on the dark web forever. Forever. The duck is never going on the dark web. Webcam hijacking. According to Medium, a website on the dark web may try to get remote administration tool, also known as a rat, onto your device that could lead to hijacking your webcam, especially letting them see what you're up to through your device's camera lens. What the- Alright, that just makes me paranoid just reading that already. I do not want some random hacker knowing what I'm up to on my damn devices. I don't know, that might be why I saw some people with a piece of tape over their webcam in school. Okay, never mind. It was probably for, like, land school or some shit. But yeah, teachers would basically watch you if you did your work or not. That's what it was. But yeah, now for level 7, the most disgusting stuff on the internet. But I basically gave them a little bit of an introduction or what could happen if you were on the 
the dark web and you weren't careful. These people, the people who do illegal stuff on the dark web, gotta be the most degenerate people on planet Earth. But yeah, there's a lot of criminals on the dark web from scamming, hacking, etc. There's whole illegal websites in the deepest corners of the dark web. So yeah, you just gotta be really careful where you go. And then there's also illegal activities that shall not be named because it's absolutely deplorable stuff. Okay, all you're getting for the hint is jail is not, jail's not enough for these people. The electric chair is needed. Okay, sorry for rambling for so long, but that's the levels of the internet. Watch this video about levels of video game addiction. It's a lot more peaceful. This ending got mad dark. I'm sorry. Go watch it though.